Hello, welcome to the session. Uh, today I'm going to uh, renew my website uh, and I'm going to uh, transfer my domain from a third party domain uh, registration site to AWS using Route 53 service, right? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of uh, background. Uh, I had my website, this website, registered last year, I mean, two years ago, and uh, I had uh, a site running in, in Bluehost services, and uh, I've been using this service for a while, and then I stopped it. And now we got the notification that the website uh, registration had to be renewed, right? Uh, as you see that, you know, the register, it shows as Bluehost India. It's been registered with this company. And, uh, you know, what I'm thinking, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have a series of sessions and uh, labs uh, I'm, I'm trying to do in AWS, right? Uh, for that, I need this domain. Uh, I think it's better uh, to transfer this domain to AWS and then, uh, you know, uh, run my site, uh, run my lab sessions with this. I think it will be useful. Uh, so ideally, when you are in a situation where you have uh, uh, your certain websites, public facing domain, which uh, is hosted in any third party uh, vendor and if you need to migrate to any other platform uh, be it any public cloud or private cloud whatever that domain name has to be transferred right by default the domain registration uh, the moment you register it will be by default it, it will be locked even nobody can uh, I mean you, you cannot transfer the domain to any other registrar, right? Uh, here, Bluehost is a registrar, right? Uh, where do we go and transfer this website? And we would have to go to Route 53. The domain registration service included in this uh, AWS Route 53 as a service, right? Uh, that is what we are going to do. Before we do that there are two things that we need to do right uh, which is the transfer lock by default you know like i said it'll be locked right what i have done i have uh, disabled it it is unlocked and ready to be transferred right and the transfer requires uh, authorization Right, it, it requires a code, uh, it's called EPP code, uh, which one register to another register, they need this code to uh, have the particular domain transferred, right? Uh, so what I have done after unlocking the transfer, uh, I have chose my mail address, uh, registered email address, and then, uh, you know, I, I clicked on send code and I have uh, received an email with a code, right? Uh, here it is. Third party register our site. I don't think we need any other, uh, uh, any other settings that we need to do here. So, Let's go to Route 53. So this is the dashboard, right? Uh, we have no, uh, I mean, we, we don't have any other uh, domains registered. Uh, we don't have any uh, anything configured in this already. So uh, our objective is to register a domain. I mean, technically it is about to expire. So I'm going to transfer and then register it with route 53 aws right so i clicked on registered domain option under domains and we have these options and i'm going to click on 
domain transfer. Uh, so let's see, I'm just doing a copy paste. And I, I, I want .com, not uh, any other. So if you look at the pricing, you know, if, if you go about uh, any extension, you know, the cost varies. I'm going to go with the generic .com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I just used the domain name, not the extension, because by default it, it comes there. So that is why we got the error. The moment I removed the .com and then I clicked on check, now it it went and tried to resolve and see whether this domain is already there. And then it uh, giving me the price option. Let's see. So I have added into the cart, clicking on next. Oh yes, okay. We have the, uh, been asked for the authorization code, which we have already. And I'm not sure whether this is just, uh, we need to go with only the digit or the whole thing is a code, I don't know. Let's give it a try. I'm going to use the whole thing considering the whole thing as the authorization code. Uh, I pasted it in the authorization code box. And what is it saying? Continue to use the name servers provided by the current registrar or DNS service. Import name services from Route 53 hosted zone that has the same name as the domain. Mm. Yeah, here's the thing. When you register a domain, you know, uh, who who is holding that domain name and who is going to, uh, you know, uh, do the domain naming resolution for the particular website, for a particular domain? Uh, is that who, who is going, I mean, basically the initial registrar and their name service would be the primary name servers i mean uh, the naming server uh, that means it it, it uh, helps us to uh, resolve the domain name right they are the primary uh, naming servers right yeah this is these are the one right uh, what the first option that shows is that continue to use the same name server uh, anyway i'm moving out of bluehost i don't want any dependency with them right so i would rather let uh, aws route 53 to handle the domain registration and the name service based on the hosted zone within route 53 and that's what i want so i'm choosing the second option right uh, yeah of course there is no existing hosted zone already so the route 53 will create Hopefully, mm -hmm. you don't have any hosted zone that you have the same name as the domain. Create a hosted zone and choose refresh or create another, choose another option. Let's go back. Or I, I would rather cancel it. Let's go and create a hosted zone. Create hosted zone. V nerd central dot com. It's a public hosted zone, right? All right. So the hosted zone is nothing but sort of a container which holds your name service record ns record and, and state of authority record soa record and uh, yeah 
All right, I'm going to do the transfer once again by selecting this hosted zone that we have already created. Greenitcentral.com. It should have yes. Or to cart continue and yes. We are going to use the import name service hosted zone that has the same name as the domain. Yes, it has two records. Hopefully this time uh, we won't get any issue. So what I'm doing, I'm copying this authorization code which I received from Bluehost. I'm using the whole thing as an authorization code and see whether that is working. Hmm, yes, it worked. All right. My registered administrative technical contacts are all are the same. Yes, yes. So I'm going to fill out all my personal details. Hopefully, I'll blur out all of these. Um, But I'm still keeping the recording intact. Uh, I mean, I'm running the recording. Uh, yes, definitely. I want to have my privacy details pro protected. Uh, you, when you try to register a domain, keep in mind that if you're doing it for the first time, you what you need to kind of, you know, keep this in mind. Who are going to register their domain? Uh, their personal details, at least the contact, essential contact uh, details like phone number or email uh, will be publicly available if you don't select disable option. I mean, if you don't protect your privacy data, there is a, a public query called who is. Uh, if you run that, uh, who owns that particular uh, website who registered under their name that details will be revealed and technically that's not a um, you know uh, ideal thing to do we need to protect our personal data so we definitely need to enable the privacy privacy protection all right um, all of these are my personal data address do you want to automatically renew your domain uh, no, I will do it myself. Whenever, uh, right now I'm not going to go for auto automatical auto renewal option. So, your order is being processed. It might take a little while for your payment to be debited. If any additional payment related steps required, your billing contact will receive further instruction in an email oh yes so we need to check the um, email where uh, we would will be asked to complete the registration um, yeah if you click on the email and then complete the payment um, you know online payment and then you will get another confirmation that the payment is completed and then uh, it will take a while like they say uh, I think um, within few minutes you, you would see that it will be uh, registered and your domain will be ready by default uh, but ideally they would uh, ask for 24 to 48 hours of time to make it ready uh, that's a standard operating procedure Okay, so I'm making a payment. Mm, I got an email uh, in my registered email address to, you know, check the billing. And then I went to the <clears throat> billing dashboard where I had this uh, invoice. Uh, it was ready uh, and asked me to make the payment. Um, I didn't, since that's a billing dashboard, I didn't uh, start the recording, but
so it placed under orders and invoices mm. all right let's see i would uh, wait for some time and see whether uh, the status changes to payment successful uh, only then you know i i can ensure that my website transfer is complete right uh, all right so hopefully uh, this would have given you some overview how uh, third party domain registration works um, technically i should say how domain transfer works right um, if you have any questions uh, let me know and put it in the comments i will re respond uh, with some answers thank you